Hi, welcome to the Motopress channel. I'm Valerie. In this video, I'll show you how to change the default look of the individual accommodation listings using the Hotel Booking Styles and Templates extension for the Hotel Booking plugin. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so let's dig in. Editing the layout of the single accommodation type pages visually without coding was one of our users' most popular feature requests. We understand as a WordPress user it's only natural to want more and more control over your website, and covering the custom design for the single accommodation page is no longer a dream, since the Hotel Booking Styles and Templates add-on rolled out with its new 1.1 version that allows its users to edit templates of the accommodation type pages easily. The add-on is free, so you can get a zip file of it from the WordPress.org official repository. If your theme includes templates, you will see a template section in the editor sidebar under the page settings. Clicking on it will give you a list of available page templates. Many WordPress themes today come with an option to change your page to full width, add a second sidebar, or switch the sidebar's location. Templates are files that tell WordPress how to display different types of content, and every time someone sends a request to review a part of your website, WordPress figures out what content they want to see and how that specific part of your website should be rendered. Then WordPress will attempt to use the most appropriate template file found within your theme, which one? is decided on the basis of the WordPress template hierarchy. So, all WordPress themes are a collection of templates, style sheets, and other elements such as images. And if you take a quick peek into any of your themes folders, you usually find a collection of template files. It's important to understand that although each page type has its own hierarchy, they also often share common template files such as header.php and footer.php. We usually see the same header, footer, and sidebar displayed throughout the site, right? Accommodation type pages are custom post types. The important thing you should know is that the layout of the custom post type is inherited from the single post template of your active theme. By creating a custom template for the accommodation type page, you will be able to change the order of accommodation details, turn an image gallery into a slider, choose which attributes to show, and do even more tweaks. And the most crucial thing is that the custom page templates will supersede the WordPress template hierarchy. In other words, these templates will trump any other template file uh, present in the theme folder. To add a new template, we go to Accommodation. We see a brand new submenu here called Templates. I've already created one template and want to create one more with you. So I'm clicking the Add New button. Then I'm adding a title. I will call it template number two, full width, two columns. While editing, again, you notice the template box. And within that, there is a template dropdown. By clicking, we see our registered custom page template, hotel booking full width, and Hotel Booking Canvas. The first one here is the default template provided by my active theme, and it is called a page with a sidebar. Most probably you won't choose the default template as it may include some elements that you don't need. So let's talk about custom page templates provided by our add-on in more detail to find out What's the difference between them? The full width template will display the content 
including the header and footer, whereas the canvas will display only the content without the header, footer or sidebar. I'm going to choose the full width template. The Hotel Booking Styles and Templates extension provides us with nine blocks. And these are accommodation type, image, title, gallery, content, price, attributes, uh, calendar, and availability form. And now all of them are nested inside the Hotel Booking wrapper block. The wrapper block controls the width of the content inside it. And as usual, each of the blocks has its own settings. With the image and title blocks, you can add a link to the post. The gallery will allow to display images uh, as a slider or, for instance, open them in the light box. The attribute settings will empower you to indicate the necessary attributes uh, by a check mark. With the availability calendar, you will be able to determine the number of months to show, and the booking form also has its customization options. What's more, there is also the attribute block that might come in handy if you want to showcase some particular attribute. By the way, the common feature of all the blocks is that field for the accommodation type ID to be put. This feature will be useful if you want to utilize the template for other pages of your site. We have a special block for this purpose called an accommodation type template block. It will allow applying uh, any of your custom templates um, to any of the pages of your site. For example, if the page needs to be dedicated uh, to a specific room type, you need to indicate its ID uh, for the blocks to show the relevant data. And you're free to move blocks as you wish, uh, or even delete unneeded ones. It all depends on the layout you want to declare. Now let's check out the default look of the single accommodation type page of my theme. What I'm going to do is delete the wrapper block first. Instead of it, um, I'm adding the section block by Gatrid. And using its style settings uh, to be more precise, I'm editing paddings. Uh, for this, I'm using custom dimensions, and the section block is the container type of block. Uh, the rest of the blocks will be nested inside it. And the first one is the accommodation type title. Um, the spacer block comes next, then I'm adding the columns. The first column is for the image block, and the second is for the accommodation type content. And after one more spacer, I'm adding uh, the accommodation type price and attributes blocks one by one. Again, I need the spacer and the columns for the accommodation types availability calendar and booking form. We're almost done, but before the publishing, I need to get back to the general settings of the section block and select the full width. After that, we can publish the template. That's just one example of the kind of editing you can do. Once you have saved your template, uh, go to accommodation types. Select the one you want to apply a new look. Choose the needed one from the template selector and save the changes. The same can be achieved without entering the WordPress editor. You can simply hover over any item in the list. The quick edit option will become visible. Click on it. You will see the same drop down menu for choosing a different page template. Pick one, update, and you're done. If you want to apply the same template for all of your accommodation types and do it 
as quickly as possible. Mark all of them in the list. Use bug action. Select edit. Click apply and from the drop down pick the needed template. And don't forget to update. And after that, enjoy the result. That's it for today. Now you know how to create a unique page layout that's different from the default template of your single accommodation type page. And of course, as always, if you have additional comments or questions, you can share those in the comment section down below. If you found this tutorial helpful to you, I would love to know, and you can tell me in one very simple way. Give this video a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you can, subscribe to the channel and enable notifications because it really, really helps to stay tuned with all the MotoPress updates and product reviews. Thank you for watching and bye for now.